Welcome back to the regulars. If you're new around here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, let's have a drink. Bullseye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I, was, I was born in South Africa. What brought you to Albuquerque, of all places? Opportunity here. University, jobs, you know. Oh, I was, I, I was born there, grew up there, and then I moved here when I was 19. In South Africa, how many languages are spoken there? 13 to 15. Uh, well, how official. many do you know? I know one, okay. um, English and then my, my home language, Afrikaans. For, for a really bizarre reason, I know the entire Afrikaans ver uh, episode, uh, verse of the South African National Ac Anthem. Oh for like no God, reason at all, dude. I just know it. <laughs> yeah. Where did you even learn that? So I had this English teacher who thought she was a history teacher. And it was the year that Nelson Mandela died. Oh, okay. And so it was like the big old thing in mm -hmm. history. She's like, okay, yeah. we're going to do a unit on South Africa. And I was like, this is cool. And I hate English, so I'm down. And I didn't learn anything that year except for the South African National Anthem. In Kose Sikeleli. Yeah. Yeah, whole thing. I got it. I know it. I know it. If this is Africa, right? Is that, is that a pretty good Africa, yeah, I guess? Yeah, yeah. A little bit more tilted? Yeah. About where would it be? South. South. Yeah. South, South Africa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it seems self-explanatory. So my first language is Afrikaans, right? Yes. So I think in Afrikaans. There's a constant translation going on in my head. But sometimes when you translate it, the meaning gets lost. I'm a food guy. What's the oh, best food oh in South Africa? So we call it a braai. Yeah. Um, and it's sort of like a grilling. It's done over an open fire. What we do on that is most a lot of meat. And we make, we make this sort of grilled cheese sandwich. It's called a braai bruiki. We have this chutney that we put on with cheese and onions and tomato, if you're weird. <laughs> and then you put that on the grill, grill it a little, and oh my god, dude. Every, yeah, for everyone who I've made it here, to the best that I can, yeah. they love it. South Africa's not in a very good shape okay. right now, um, you know, politically and, and everything. There's a lot of stuff going on. No real future, you know, to, to oh, build to, yeah. yeah, and to strive to. I was, at, I was at, at the university, and I went to Subway, like, that was on the university. I ordered a sandwich. And I wanted ranch, but at the time I said ranch. And I swear, for like five minutes, I was standing there telling this chick, ranch dressing, just give me the ranch. And she's like, olives, lettuce. Okay. <laughs> I got so angry. Oh <laughs> like, man. I, I was like pointing at it. <laughs> <laughs> just you're that like, one. That one right that there. One, she's yeah. like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, dude. Man. So I don't actually know anything about the language. The, the language uh, evolved out of sort of a necessity okay. for all the settlers that came from Europe and, and, and stuff to, to be able to speak to the indigenous people that were living, okay. or that were in South Africa, gotcha. you know, a deviation from English. Okay. Yeah, sort of like a stick it to them, you know, <laughs> we'll make our own language, you know. <laughs> That's fun. I like yeah, that. Yeah. That's Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So are there swear words in Afrikaans and oh, can yeah. you teach them to me? Absolutely. Let's start with probably the most versatile one. Yeah. You can use it as you would fuck. So it's spelled P-O-E-S and it's just pronounced poos. Poos. Okay, it's like papusa. So poos. Oh, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And I mean, that's, that's so versatile. You're so. like, ah, oh, poos. Exactly. That's holy that's poos. Per yeah. <laughs> Perfect, okay, gotcha. Dude. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. a great one. Give yeah. me another one. So, poos. Cock. K A K. Cock. Cock. Well, that's a swear word here, too. It is? And cock is like a weird way, weird way to say your ding dong. Oh, I see. So, you're talking okay. about C O C K. Like, yeah. Like a cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it means shit. Oh. Or oh. poop. But again, you could use it. Is it? It's how vulgar versatile. is it? Not that much. Not that, so that's like no. crap here, right? Yeah, that's okay. like the the that's like dipping your toes into. Yeah, you're like an edgy little teenager. You're like, oh god. Yeah, man. yeah. You're like 12, <laughs> 11, 12 years old. You're starting to to experiment with the bad words. K A K. So K A K. Yeah, yeah. Okay, K -A -K. gotcha. It's like a reverse A K A. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess folk. 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 Is that F-O-K. Is that just fuck? Yep. Oh, all right, <laughs> cool. Fuck with an accent. <laughs> it really was just like taking English with a spin and like, ha ha. Yeah. You know? I got it. Yeah. I got English now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. So, puss, uh, cock, and then you got it. folk. Yep. Okay, gotcha. You, How you, you can get by. Is Cape Town like the South African equivalent of New York? Where it's like, hey, I'm walking here, fuck off, or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Now, is rugby a sport that you can get drunk and watch? Like, it's, it's like... Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> there's some sports that kind of ruin it, and there's some sports where it's like, yeah, we're doing this. Rugby and beer. And braai. Braai. That's a typical Saturday. Rugby, and beer, and braai. Yep, that's a typical Saturday. Oh, my gosh. You can have yeah. a party and just call it rugby, beer, and braai. Beer, beer, and braai. Yeah. I roll my R's too much for that. <laughs> <laughs> Apartheid ended officially one month, basically, after my birthday, or after I was born. There was definitely like some leftover tension, I yeah. guess, in the air. I mean, I think to this day, there's still a lot of yeah. unresolved conflict there's going on. There's still unresolved racism in America. Yeah, there's a lot of like political like turmoil going on. Yeah. One of my biggest fears is deep ocean water. I so feel that water you cannot I see, I do yep, not go in. I can't. Like, I get... I, yeah. Yeah, Jaws, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what's under there. You can't see it. Even lakes, you never know. But I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I'm not going in there. You yeah. want me to swim? <laughs> Where's the hotel? I'll swim there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll swim in the pool where I can see everything. See the bottom? Yeah. The pool's too deep where I can't see the bottom yeah. because I'm like, gross. I don't go in. Yeah. I just can't do it. Do you have a professor that's like a mentor or? Yeah, so okay. we, we, have, we have an advisor. Okay. Um, and like we have to check in with them every semester about our speculated graduation date and how are we going to take our classes. Why is it speculated? Because you never know what happens. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. 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 So like, like with that <laughs> yeah, one yeah. class, you know, my speculated graduation date was May. May. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I missed that one fucking class. It sounds like New Mexico and South Africa, as far as cultural, like, blending wise are kind of similar very much so yeah. and it it sort of just happened to turn out that way you know it's yeah. not like um when when my dad got the position here it's not like he sought out albuquerque it just yeah. sort of was a happy coincidence you that's know? really cool yeah because i'm used to sort of the the melting pot <coughs> you know of, of all these i guess small or smaller cultures yeah coming cultures together and ethnicities just like coming in and blending yeah into one. yeah that's really yeah. what albuquerque is honestly oh yeah i mean i haven't been to a lot of places in the yeah. u.s um I've, I've i've been to vegas and been to uh washington state oh, seattle wow. and, and stuff pacific and, northwest that's really yeah. fun yeah oh yeah it was, it was so beautiful it ri- reminded me so much of you know did you go in the warm time or the cold time? does south africa get cold or not as cold as here Really? Because um, this doesn't get that cold yeah, either. Yeah, yeah, I mean, at least where I was. It, it, yeah. Um, so, like, snow is not really a thing where I used to live. Did um, you ever see snow in uh, Cape Town? The closest thing I had was, like, <coughs> heavy dew, I guess. Heavy dew. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, on the grass <laughs> in the early morning, you know. <laughs> that's that's about the, the closest <laughs> that, that I got. Heavy and when you dew. yeah, and when you would step on it, it would sort of like crack under your feet. Okay, right? so yeah, it's like yeah. crunchy rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it, yo. Crunchy rain. We don't get snow in South Africa, Cape Town. We get crunchy rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent, or we 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 spent one Christmas in Colorado. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold, that was, cold. That was Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was like I guess the first. Heavy snow, yeah, that, that I experienced. You now, where I like looked outside, I'm like, oh my like, god, whoa, yeah. Uh. And I mean, I'm I'm used to like having rainstorms that last a week, you know. <laughs> so I can't even imagine that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's it's just raining outside. That's that's just what the weather is. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's raining. Just, yeah, you for just the deal next with, two weeks. Yeah, yeah, you just deal with it. You know, <laughs> you just that's I don't insane. Know. Yeah. I can't even because like <laughs> we get like one day of rain here and it lasts for like you know maybe two hours and I'm like yeah oh the moisture <laughs> we got rain <laughs> yeah <laughs> as Americans we have our American centric <laughs> things yeah. and one of them is like I can name my fifty states what country is that. <laughs>
Yeah. You know, or you're like, which way is Canada, north or south? <laughs> oh, southern border, Mexico. Got it. Got yeah. it. Southern border, right? Albuquerque reminds me a lot of the town I I was born in. Okay, uh, gotcha. Bloemfontein. Bloemfontein. Yeah, yeah. That sounds German. Blum, uh, I don't know. I've, okay. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't it, English. It could be like yeah. Afri Afrikaans and German. I could probably hold so, a conversation. So, Bloemfontein. Yeah, Bloemfontein. Bloemfontein. Yeah. Boos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gotta remember. Good, I gotta remember. <laughs> <laughs> is there any good Afrikaans music? I my go to music is rock. Oh, okay. Um, well, mostly English, or do you go on the Afrikaans side? Um, there's there's like maybe two good Afrikaans rock bands that I know of. Okay. You know, um, or that I listen to. Okay. Um, one of them is called uh, Folk of Pulisikar. Fuck off police car. Yeah. Is that like fuck the police? That's like fuck off police car. Oh. Yeah, that's like so that. The, it's, very, the, it's, it's an FTP thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. yeah, yeah. And they're like, a, I guess you, you could say they're one of the first Afrikaans rock bands that made it. And okay. And like got big and, 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 and stuff like that. I mean, I, I really like them. I like, I like this. One. <laughs>